You know what we need for space travel? A way to book a flight easily with help, like kayak or orbits. <laughs> yeah, orbits. Hey, spacefarers, Tracy are taking off into the weekly DNews space update for you. Virgin Galactic is one of the companies to watch in the private space industry. It's no 03K64 mid-bulk transport, but Spaceship 2 promises to carry six passengers into suborbital flights starting, hopefully, later this year. They've already got a pretty deep bench, but Virgin Group wants to make sure their ticket line is the fanciest. Unfortunately, aside from rubbing elbows with CEO Richard Branson yourself, how are you supposed to express interest in paying the $250,000 ticket price? Plus the booking fee. Sure. You can go to their website, but if you're wealthy enough for that kind of a ticket, are you really going to pop over to their laptop and type in your credit card number? Probably not. Which brings us to Virtuoso, your travel agent for space travel. Starting soon, luxury travel agent company Virtuoso will handle future bookings for the space airline. Seriously, Virgin? A travel agent? I was confused until I saw the perks of buying one of these tickets. So far, 600 people have confirmed a trip on Spaceship 2. By doing so, they get invites to Branson's private island in the Caribbean, Game Reserve in South Africa, Chalet in the Swiss Alps, and a state in the Atlas Mountains in Morocco. Sounds pretty ritzy. However, if at one of these parties you can't get to Branson with your questions, or if you don't have a Virgin Galactic employee on speed dial, Virtuoso is claiming to be the friendly face of space. The travel company wants to help potential customers navigate the waters of astronaut training, medical tests, and funnily enough, spousal permission. They'll also manage customer expectations since VG hasn't flown any actual trips yet. Though Virtuoso CEO is going to be one of the first 80 on Spaceship 2 when it finally does get out of this world. So they want to help humanize the experience. Travel agents are practically perfect for this type of vacation. The whole trip is only going to last as long as like a feature film with five to six minutes of space travel in a two and a half hour trip. And a traveler booking online might only reserve that single event. Both Virgin and Virtuoso know this and are looking at creating what they call travel experiences, pairing the flight with other travel. One customer took a 14-month tour around the world with Virtuoso after booking their galactic flight, and now they're attending parties until their turn in space, which sounds like some trip. Both companies are quick to point out, like each mode of travel before it, the ticket prices for space travel will get cheaper over time, which I hope they do really soon, because I want to go. But what do you think? Would you rather fly up and come back in a weekend or make a whole vacation of it? Thanks for watching DNews, everyone. Subscribe for more, and we'll see you next Friday for more space updates.